Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Paramedium. I'll be using Void Walker Nightfall, uh, Void Walker Nightfall, Void Walker Warlock. I'm running 110 uh, score multiply, uh, 110 power uh, handicap, uh, heavyweight, momentum, arc singe, and match game as my modifiers. I'm using Bygones, it's a Gambit Pulse Rifle, Borealis. Hammerhead, which is the Forge heavy machine gun, and I'm using the Skull of Dyer Ahamkara because when you pair that with the bottom tree of the subclass for Void Walker, it makes a very interesting mix. Uh, the bottom tree got a substantial buff during the sandbox update, and I just want to test it out in here. So when you get to here, what I like to do is clear all the ads at the bottom here straight away. Four elite goblins and a, and the sniper. If you get the sniper, probably you can probably guarantee you're going to get Vex all the way through. But you can't guarantee that before you get in here because you don't know what you're going to get. That's why I've put the Borealis on because you can get all elemental shields in the Paramedium if that's the run you get. And the Borealis just, you know, makes that not so difficult. Every plate you access after this, you get a different group of ads. So the first plate you're going to access, you're going to get... Two sets of elite goblins, so four elite goblins and two snipers. Then the next plate, you will get four elite goblins, and then you'll get a wave of ads with the two ultra minotaurs. So I access the left hand plate first, and then I go over and use this pillar in front of the right hand plate as my cover. I will take out as much as possible with the hammerhead. So I'll take out the four elite goblins. Oh, yep four elite goblins and then I'll snipe the two snipers very simple now I can access the plate now j because anybody that watches the videos on a regular basis will know I'm always screaming about changing weapons so that you keep dropping heavy ammo so we're going to try and get a goblin here or two with our primary doesn't work out like that because one of them says nope and disappears so we took the first one. Bye. <laughs> it's that it's that meme, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> and then he went right back up there. But uh, no luck. And this is where I'm going to fight the next wave of ads from. So I normally find that they do split up. So, you know... Make sure that you can take as many of the goblins as you can with primary, if 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 you if you need it, you know. But I, I it's just it's a learned practice for me. I I'm always looking out for my heavy ammo, making sure I'm dropping more. So, and then once you've done that, we make our way down to the jumping. Very simple. So while we're making our way down to the jumping, I want to share something with you guys. It's something that. I'm I'm a little bit just the slightest triggered about. I spoke to a friend of mine about it and he was like, don't let it worry you. And I was like, it's not worrying me, it's just annoyed me. And I'm going to state this, I'm not really going to share too much about this because I'm not going to start anything that doesn't need to be started. I do not think that any 100k solos are pointless. I think the only people would say that are people who are trying to advertise themselves. Now, I wouldn't advertise myself over someone else because my channel exists to help. I don't expect people to watch my videos and say, you are the greatest thing since sliced bread because I'm not. I'm a, I'm a decent player who wants to help others. If you do anything other than that, then your channel doesn't exist to help anybody bar yourself. If that is the case, you won't get any respect from me. You know, if you do something, if you do a good run, then I'm I'm an honest guy. I'll say it's a good run. But I won't say your run's no good because, because of my own ego. I just won't do it. Nah, that, that wasn't very good because it was better than mine or it's, you know, I'm trying to advertise myself so I can't say that yours is good. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. And I hope the person or the people, I hope they hear that. Don't need a response because I'm not going to retaliate. But I am putting it on record that 
more to the point. I know what you're doing. So, now that I've got that off my chest, and maybe in the future I'll tell you guys exactly what I'm talking about, but it's not for this run. I just, this is the first chance I've had to address it, so I am addressing it. I just thought it was a little underhanded. A couple of things that have happened recently. Very sneaky and sly, but I'm finding out these people are very much like that. So, now that we've made it past there, what we're going to do is, we've changed to arc on the sniper because we know we're going to get harpies. And we're going to try the super. So it's just normal red bar goblins. So we took three out. Six. And just about got our super back. There we go. So six goblins nearly gave us our super back. In fact, you could basically say it did. Because before my grenade even hit that ad, I got my super. Very good. It's 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 as good to the void void walker subclass as Orpheus Rig was to the hunter. So I would I am definitely gonna test this out in Gambit because I think that could be very very good in Gambit. You you know you you could clear waves, <laughs> you know with with your super because you just keep getting it back. So. Don't move forward here too much until you've taken these these harpies out. And then once you take the harpies out, make sure you're getting your health back. And then look for these guys. Look for the... There's a couple of minotaurs. You know, as you can see, it's, it's the same old, same old switch when you can. I've got rampage on my pulse rifle. As you can see, once you get... Once you, once you proc that rampage, really does sort out these ads. And... Yep, yeah, just melt the minotaurs. And you've got a couple of more harpies at the back, yellow bar. And there we go. One elite. And then there's one more, and then we're going to have a heap of harpies. Now, I actually attempted this three times. When I say I attempted it, I beat it three times. And I think it was the second, the clear before this. I got the Minotaurs and the, heart, the the Vex here. I fired my super, took out nearly all the Vex, nearly all the first wave of Vex, got my super back, fired it straight afterwards, killed the Minotaurs with the Vex that spawned and got my super back again. Just exceptional. That this is this is exactly what we needed in the game. Now, I think I think I th I don't think I'm speaking out of turn by saying that for for someone. That plays the game the way I do. There isn't a lot of challenge left in the game. But should there be? At this juncture, we've had Shattered Throne. We've had Last Wish, which if you haven't already seen it, I've put a guide up for Last Wish. It's, it is a guide just for Last Wish, but it was Petra's run we done. And the the Triumph pops at the end. So it, we definitely done it. Uh, I'm going to try and get the Diamond Scourge out this week uh, I've got to do it first but I'm pretty confident I, I play with some really good raiders another shout out to King I'm trying to make up for not shouting him out in the north to three, 650 because he uh, another pulling the, pulling the curtain back he got his he got his partner to, and him to sit down and watch it and his name wasn't in the video it's quite funny when you say it but I do feel a little bit bad about it so hopefully King and his super talented group of uh, readers, we can get some a, a run of that done. But uh, on with the video. Now, when you get into this room, we've got the harpies here. So we'll try and take the harpies from, from where we are. Which means we're going to have a minotaur to our left. We don't really want to move past where we are now until we've cleared the ads. And that's because once you go, once you go to that plate on the left, which do not access this plate first, all right, you'll get the next wave of ads. Now we were unfortunate here with this super because when I fired it, the Minotaur teleported. So note to self. But as you can see, I mean, we took out a heap of ads, and it gave me like, you know, I think I took four or five ads out, and it gave me two thirds of my super back. Just insane. Take out the the this boy here was he was proper triggered. He wanted some. Unfortunate though that he didn't get any. 
uh, this is going to be the one we're going to activate. We're going to activate first this plate here, right? So we've cleared that wave of ads. We can have basically this plate, and we'll go straight to this plate on the left. We can have these two plates activated pretty quickly. Uh, but it's Vex, so you're going to get a Hydra. So we'll do some melt on the Hydra. Switch to Borealis. We've got it on arc. Take the harpies out. There's four harpies. Hopefully get some some uh, explosive damage chaining. And then we'll take out the ads up there. And literally, that's all the ads you're going to get. Once you've cleared these two, two ads up here, that is all the ads you're going to get here. And that's the way really to activate these plates. The ads are more manageable if you do it like that, I feel. But I'm pretty sure you get different set sorts of ads I think if you activate them differently you get two hydras so if you do it like that you'll be you'll be cool I've got a video that I'm planning for the weekend guys and I want some feedback on it I want you guys to let me know what you think about before I even consider doing it which is where it's the future of destiny where's destiny going I was pretty unlucky here I will just break off from what I was going to say Fired that super, got a lot of super energy back, as you would expect. You've seen what it does. Uh, and I never got the elite. So I would have got the super back totally if I'd have killed that elite. So I like to take this room out from here. I don't want to push into the room. You can, you know, but when it, I suggest doing that anyway. I've changed to solar because I've taken Knight and he's a solar shielded guy, so... Take his shield down, headshot him, game's over. Yeah, so I've got this idea planned. Uh, I'll take a bit of research, but I've got... The reason I've planned it is because I've seen, I seen someone else had put a video up about something, and I, I watched the video. I don't normally watch a lot of other Destiny videos. Uh, but I watched it, and I think he got it all wrong. And I'd seen the information that he was talking about. But it, led, it got me thinking after I watched it. got me thinking. This this actually, once we take these snipers out, this is perfect. So you're always going to have void shields here. Whether it's taken or vex. And with that chaining. Now what I've noticed is the, the super itself is awesome. But what seems to really have been improved is the trackers. Because beforehand, those trackers could just disappear away up in space. Now, they actively hunt. They don't seek. They hunt more enemies. And the amount of super energy you get when when the, those void trackers that come off the initial blast. Now, I did spend a little bit too much time on this, this boy. Especially since I never ended up killing him. He just wouldn't leave. And I was just trying to put shots on him to make him run away because... Well, he's taken. The minute you damage it, he's taken. They do run. But it seems to be that if you encroach upon him... Now, for anybody that doesn't understand what the word encroach means, it means... It's, it's actually a football, and for my American friends, a soccer term, when you have a free kick, and the... the it's why I learnt the word when I was a, a kid. Uh, when you push someone... A dead ball situation if you get too close of the 10 yards you're encroaching which means you're just pushing getting too close to them breaking the boundaries you know something like that you're pushing them you're getting too close to them if you encroach upon him if you push him push his position that's when he moves i didn't know that i do now I'm not proud that I know that. I'm just saying that. I know that now. Uh, so I, I, we're going to take out all the ads. When you come in here and you fire that super, clear this first area here. Don't push past those two pillars that the snipers were on. Because that's when you get the next wave. And you want to make sure you got your super when you get here. So the, you're going to get two snipers on them raised pillars. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one out. Fire our super. And take our second one out. Uh, and basically, although we never got our super back, it's not 100 miles away, a lot of super energy for four enemies. We cleared all the invisible, we cleared the invisible minotaurs. So now this area in front of us, now all we've got to deal with 
are the enemies that are on the plates. And because I've seen that I've got heavy ammo, just feather your... And it's a, uh, probably a term I'm not going to stop using because I've always used it. Feather basically means l tapping it. You know, just tap the... Don't, don't, don't fire when you don't need to fire. If you know, don't don't just hold the trigger down your heavy, and just try and melt everything like John G. Ramble that is. Uh, yeah. So j just use it as almost like a super powered scout rifle. Fire as m the amount of shots you need to kill the enemy you need, especially if you see you've got a brick there because you know you can replace it. This guy here, uh, the Gauntlet of Savathan, Arc Shield. Thank you, Mr. Borealis. We'll change to Arc. Take his shield down. Little, little bit of meltage. And we've got one more. One more. Conflux to activate. And we're done. We're on to the boss. So yeah, guys. I've got this information in my head about about this. Uh, where, where Destiny's going. Where, where the direction it's headed in. And I was kind of thinking about starting restarting up i used to do a video series back when i started the channel and only done a couple of videos because at the time i was just focused on getting these solos out and it was called the destiny diary and i'm thinking about restarting it where we talk about you know stuff that's happened in destiny maybe do one every couple of weeks so tell me what you think about that would you like to hear my thoughts on destiny i'm not trying to become the next houndish <laughs> i'm not going to data mine anything it's just from story from tweets, from Bungie, you know, stuff that I already know, information that's come out, my interpretation of it. I would like to do something like that. I'm going to do it anyway. I just want to know, what do you guys think? Do you think that would be cool? I'm going to do it anyway, but <laughs> I would prefer it if I was doing something that you guys liked, you know. But I think, I, I think it could be cool. So, as you can see, when I dropped down, got onto the boss plate, i done enough damage on the boss when I came over to the plate that we'll be starting on to you know, to get him to move. You know, I'm not trying to do any big meltage. So we'll take both waves of ads from this plate. Now I'm using primary because I don't... I could have used heavy here, but I, I just didn't see the point. Once I've activated that plate, I always go in front of him here because... It just gives you that additional bit of cover when you're going from plate to plate. Only really works with the first two plates. Uh, it works with all the plates, to be fair. But uh, it, I've, I, I've always used that because you can actually run up to the front and, and that bit of stone will give you cover. So a bit more damage. He will move. We move over to the next set of plates. So again... <sighs> If I was to do this again, what I would do is I would do it the opposite way about. I would just hammer head all of these guys and fire my super at the other plate. But as you can see, we almost got our super back. So we'll access the plate while we're fighting the ads. Put the rift down. The rift done enough to protect me. Now, what I found really strange was how fast I activated that plate. It seemed to activate really quickly. But yeah, I would have fired my super at this group. And I reckon we'd have got my super back and killed everybody over there. But as you can see, it's it, it didn't cause us too much hassle. So, what we're going to do is, again, run in front. I've got... I put blink jump on to try and protect me while I was jumping around, while I was moving, but... Actually, once I thought about it, I probably could have put something else on. Because doing it like this, we're not actually running and jumping about too much. So we're going to try and activate this plate, get the shield down. Put a couple of snipes on his head to get him to move. And then once he moves, he's dead, really. Once he moves, he's, he's, not, he's not got a hope. So here he is. I was very fortunate there. That's what I should have done to start with. Yeah, so because I was red bar and I walked out and he sniped. If he just hit me, I'd have been dead. So that's why I always say, mate, don't attack unless you've got full health. Right, so we've got him to move into the middle. That's when you fire your Slova, which does quite a bit of damage to him. 
if that had been Void Singe, that would have killed him. And then melt him with a hammerhead. And there you go, guys. 160,583. Not the highest score you've ever seen in your life, but definitely not the lowest. And definitely not a pointless 100k run. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I always appreciate everybody that comes to the channel. Let me know what you think about the stuff I've said in the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.